Welcome to the first part of a three-part tutorial series on performance and you probably clicked on this video because your game is low and you want to know why. So I uh, have three aspect aspects for you. The first one is the rendering, the second one the physics and the third one is the script. And these can all be slow. We start with the first one in our first video and this is rendering. So what I did right now is I created this monkey in Blender as you can see here. I exported the monkey, just drag and drop it into Unity and I have a spawner script that spawns this monkey head over and over again. And let's have a look what is happening here. So I have 5 frames per second which is pretty low and I even can just move in the scene. So what can we do about it? So if you're using Blender, this is very simple. You just duplicate your object over and over again, for example, three times. I will hide these two. And we add a modifier, and the modifier is called Decimate. And this Decimate modifier tells you how many faces your model has, and this is 7800. This is pretty much for such a small object. So we can decrease the ratio until we have about maybe um, yeah, 500 faces. It still looks pretty okay, so we leave it like that. And then we do the same for our third copy and we will get, we will get really low here. So do the thing again, decimate, decrease the ratio until we have maybe One hundred eighteen faces. I think this is good. So, just bring them back up. Just mark them, and we will export them. So back into Unity, our monkey looks a little bit strange because multiple models lay over one another. So we will add a component called LOD for level of detail. So and this LOD component has more than three levels. It has four levels and we can add renderers to it. So we just go to the first one, click add and choose the first model, the high poly model. Then we go to LOD1, add the mid poly level uh, poly model and level of detail 2, we add the low poly model. And now what we can do is we can just drag and drop the camera and see when Unity switches between those models as we go far away from these models. And we even can adjust these level of details. And as you can see we have 120 frames per second and um, if we go around here in the scene view uh, you can notice the effect between the switches of the model but you can really move very fast around and it's way better than before. So how do you know that your game is slow because of the rendering? So you can use the profiler. The profiler tells you what Unity is doing. So for example, let's stop here. You see how low your profile or your CPU usage must be to reach a 60 FPS mark, a 100 FPS mark and a 200 FPS mark and you can hide and bring back the components of it. So here's the rendering and it takes about 10% of the complete scene. Uh, you can see it right here, you can uh, set the marker to any positions and you see, okay, it's 19% of the scene. Um, the rendering is going on and the other is just the vertical sync. This is because my monitor only um, supports 120 frames per second. So Unity will wait until my monitor is ready. So. And if we go back to the old scene where we have no level of detail and you directly see the rendering part is taking most of the time here. Uh, if I hide it and bring it back you clearly see okay rendering consumes most of the time and this is the issue with the scene and this is why it's only at 6 FPS instead of 120 FPS. 
So that was it for this part. Uh, the next part is about physics. And let's see what we can do here to improve our performance.